Our last cycle that we'll be learning about is the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen is really important to both plants and animals and all living things on this planet. Please follow along with me as I go through the notes. Feel free to take notes as I talk and also write down each step of the nitrogen cycle that correlates with the diagram. At step one, nitrogen is introduced to the soil by precipitation. Nitrogen exists in our atmosphere naturally. 78% of our atmosphere is made up of nitrogen. The other 22% being made up of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other greenhouse gases. As rain falls to the ground, it brings elemental nitrogen from the air down into the soil, which brings us to step number two. At step number two, bacteria in the soil and in plant roots change the nitrogen from the air into a more usable form for plants. This is called nitrogen fixation. Now that plants have this usable nitrogen, it brings us to step three. At step three, plants build up proteins and DNA using this usable nitrogen they get from the soil. This brings us to step four. At step four, animals eat the plants and they use the nitrogen inside the plants to build their own proteins and DNA. Steps five and six kind of go together. At these steps, waste products and dead organisms decompose. This releases nitrogen back into the soil. Finally, we have step seven. At step seven, bacteria in the soil break down these nitrogen compounds and release nitrogen gas into the atmosphere and the cycle starts all over again. So to review, one, nitrogen is introduced to the soil by precipitation. Two, bacteria in the soil and plant roots also convert nitrogen into usable forms. This is called nitrogen fixation. Three, plants build up proteins and DNA using usable nitrogen absorbed from the soil. Four, when animals eat these plants, they use it to build animal protein and DNA. Five through six, when these animals poop, pee, or die, the waste products or dead bodies are broken down by decomposers and the nitrogen is reintroduced into the soil. Seven, nitrogen compounds in the soil can also be broken down by bacteria and sent into the air as nitrogen gas. Once the nitrogen gets back into the air, the cycle continues.